Hello everyone. Uh, in the previous videos, we have seen that how we can use QED metadata and uh, use file list uh, function in order to uh, get the, all the table uh, table names automatically from the directory. Um, and it can be, by the way, it can be used for any extension. So you can do any masking. It can be Excel files, so you can get any file list. Uh, it's not uh, limited for QED, but yes, metadata is limited for QED. Okay. So coming to the next part, uh, and this one we're gonna use that. You know, if what if we do not want all the values uh, from this uh, particular list, we want certain values. So I'm gonna use again for each loop, but in this case I have some uh, limited number of tables that I wanted to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this one, and I'm gonna place that in for each loop. So you know that the list of the values in for each loop get automatically done. But in previous case, this file list was returning as the complete name of the file. But in this case, it's just gonna give us uh, just the QVD name without extension, etc. So I'm gonna adjust that for this thing. So in order to adjust that, I'm gonna use um, this function I have already done, uh, but I will sh uh, showcase you that. So it's essentially the path along with uh, this variable and then the, uh, it's followed by extension okay so i need to replace that at all three places and once i do that i'm gonna load the data so once i load the data it's gonna now this time around it's just gonna load these three files that i have uh, listed in the loop so if i go in here previously you might have seen if you see my previous video uh, which I uh, would recommend if you see that uh, you might have seen there are a lot of more files but this time around they are less files. and other way to use this for each loop and the list is uh, rather than uh, using you know that uh, list of these values we can use that from another table uh, or you know in, in this case I'm gonna use that from an excel file uh, but we if we have any preceding table loaded and we can use that preceding table uh, in order to get to here so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, add the data here and I'm going to use this table that I have loaded. And I'm going to insert. So this is the table name. I'm calling, I'm going to call it T1 here. Okay. And then this is another function. You might be aware that we call in file uh, for each loop. That's this called file uh, field value list so this gives me all the values in this particular field and then it's gonna loop that in that uh, that basis and if i load that so all the values so i can limit the values just from the axle i can add the value and that will automatically become this part of this metadata in here Okay, here you go. So I have all list of all the files uh, that I wanted to uh, use. And in this case, they are all, all the files that I have. Uh, and you see uh, they are here uh, and they have been iterated uh, using the loop. Okay, so uh, that's very much uh, it. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna use the file functions to enrich this particular data further. Uh, do watch and subscribe the videos. Thank you very much.